Hi guys, whether you see this as a motivational aspect or some other, that's your choice. But I want you to realize one important factor. It's not late. It's not late. I am doing this video on 22nd March. And you are having examination, especially CA Inter and CA Final Student. You are having examination in the May. Especially if you are having Group 1. If at all you are focusing is on Group 1, you are having around 40 days time. Around 5 days break, 35 days. If at all you are Group 2, only target is Group 2, 50 days and 7 days. So around 43 days effective time you are having. What about both groups? I will come back to that later. You are not yet late. If you are, you are not late. I know some of the some of the students were demotivating again and again, again and again, in spite of repeated motivations that people are doing on the YouTube, in spite of watching repeated motivations, many are getting deviated or distracted for some reason. And suddenly, when they realize that it's just one month away from the exams, and they were getting depressed, what they have done till date. Uh, you know, some students message me, sir, I didn't start anything till date. So if I start again now, could I clear? Can I clear? Before, before I talk about whether you can clear or not, first, just look at our Puranas. Look at our Puranas or Vedas. Almost in any religion, they always focus on your efforts. Please focus on your efforts. Please focus on your process. The result will be taken care by the God. The result will be taken care by your destiny, whatever. Getting it? Focus on the process. In terms of the process, we are still having, if at all you are only focusing on group 1, you are having 350 hours of solid time. If at all you are only focusing on group 2, you are again having 430 hours of solid time. Ideally, ideally, if at all you are very focused and consistent, you can definitely clear one single group. It may be group 1 or it may be group 2. One group you can clear, you still have chance. Last time I made a video somewhere in the month of March beginning or maybe um, February and last week that you are having 60 days time and many students have watched it and applauded and started preparing and again similar same students are getting back and saying sir now I am having 40 days time, 35 days time, one month I am left with. What should I do within this month so that I can clear? You are always result oriented. You are always focusing on your result. You are always thinking about what if I fail, what if I fail. Why are you thinking about the result? Never think about, you know, like what? The result. Forget about it. It's a, it's, a, it's a consequence. First, implement in your action. You know, very recently I've gone through one of the, you know, promo. Uh, some Insta reel or somewhere I've seen where Mukesh Ambani is giving. Like the younger is, like the, you know, questioner is asking, what is that differentiates you from others? He's asking that. He, he replied one thing, focus. Whatever we do, we do with focus. Whatever we do, we do with consistency. Not just him. Any business entrepreneur you take or any, any startup founders or any entrepreneurs or any, you know, anyone whom you think successful, getting it, you just look at them. They are consistent in their efforts. They are focused. In the process of what they are doing. You know, I personally love Mukesh Ambani and his attitude and the way they do business, all that I personally love like, like anything. Because they do take risk very consciously, very aggressively, like no other businessman takes risk. They take risk like anything. And, and they make it successful. Every business venture that Mukesh Ambani has started was successful. You know, some of us think, Yes, sir, even if at all I have a father like Dhirubhai Ambani, I will also do business like him. If you give this kind of reply, then I will I have an answer for you. What about his brother? What about his brother? At the time when the family got separated, both the brothers, like elder Mukesh Ambani as well as his cousin brother, I mean, sorry, his, his own younger brother, Anil Ambani, both of them have got more or less inherited similar amount of wealth. Both of them were two richest Indians within top 10 places at that time. And today, where are they? Where Mukesh Ambani is standing in the world map? Where Anil Ambani is? He is not even standing in the Mumbai city map in the top richest people. By the way, by the way, by the way, I am not here to degrade Anil Ambani anymore. That is not my intention. 
it's all it's all it's all you know you know in a business sometimes we fail not because we don't have focus not because we have we are consistent sometimes we fail because our strategies didn't work sometimes we fail in predicting the market sometimes we fail in though you are good at implementation your team is not good at so there are so many factors which play whether you will be successful or not but but remember your effort your effort should be in your hands you know if you ask me about ca student ca ca inter or ca final students or why a student fail or why a student qualify there are many factors one how he has taken coaching class from whom he has taken coaching class what is the impact of the tutor two if at all he did self preparation what is the amount of effort getting it what is the amount of intensity with which he read three how he presented in the paper four how the paper has been valued who has valued the paper what is his mindset at the time of valuing the paper who is the second step verification of the paper valuer i mean who is the next level verification of the paper and what about the grace marks what about the question paper you know the standard a mistakes in the question paper there are so many factors only if all the factors come together you will qualify but remember all the factors must be there in order you to become successful all the factors must be there so your result is dependent on multiple factors outside your control first of all but your preparation the time availability your preparation your focus your consistency is in your hand realize that your result is not determined by you your result is determined by many factors but your effort can be determined by yourself you are stopping you are not putting your efforts you are not uh, you know uh, you are you are continuously worrying you are continuously worrying what happens to my result what happens to my result what if i fail what if if i am if i qualify you know whenever you think of your failure you know think of your success also if i fail in the result how should i face this people how should i face my senior who teased me how should i face my colleague or how should i face my junior how should i face my family members who underestimated you you just think of them naturally you will feel motivated naturally you will feel motivated sometimes no whenever i whenever i personally if i if at all whenever i feel like oh, today i'm tired or today no today somehow i feel i feel like not working let me take some one week to 10 days break in 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 the moment like where there is a peak amount of work i need to think of the negative like what repercussions like they, they say no negative things that happens if you don't do something getting it all negative sort of you know uh, like people talk all that i just think of how it they'll react how everybody will react if i fall down how everybody reacts ah uh, that's it i become alert the next day immediately i'll wake up early i'll come and work more your motivation is nothing but your problems your situations that's it that is what your motivation don't expect any external motivation you know why you are pursuing ca course you know why you are studying hard you know why you wanted to qualify in the very next term so that you can go you can scale up in your life you know very well all the reasons why you have to qualify then why are you worrying about result focus on the process focus be consistent if a student consistently study every day 10 hours minimum consistently productively how this 10 hours should be studied i will i will preferably guide you in this video if you are able to dedicate 10 to 11 hours in a day consistently one group result is in your hand even from today if you calculate 22nd march i am doing this video so you are having 35 to 40 days of time even if you are a group 2 student 45 days time if at all you are both the group student right now decide right now right now you decide are you still confident of writing both the groups have you completed at least 70% of the syllabus in both the groups just think of it if not if not if not quit come to one single come to one group shift to one group whether you paid for both the groups in the examination you know form that that's unnecessary thing if at all you have not yet completed 70% of the syllabus by this time quit from the idea of both the groups come back and stick and focus on single group you know your actions plays an important role in your life rather than your thoughts your goals nothing unless you put them into your, unless you put them into an action it won't it won't work be focused in what you are doing forget about the result 
be consistent every day evaluate don't don't put 16 hours of study schedule no don't put unimaginable unrealistic study schedules they don't work they don't work at all and now don't even write any exams some students will be writing you know revision exams test series and all don't write that it's already time has gone now you need to focus on revision you need to focus on the proper preparation so this is the time that you are left with honestly actually in reality this is the time you are left with calculated from 22nd march ignoring 22nd march from 23rd march this is the time you are having if you waste every one hour from now you are reducing the chances of qualifying in the coming exam you are reducing your success rate in the exam whenever every one hour it equals to one percent i can tell you every one hour plays an important one percent you know in your success rate if i assume hundred percent is success rate every one hour you waste from today or every two hours you waste from today one one mark one percent of your success rate is coming down so the point is from now don't even think about result don't even think about any other consequences what should i do what is my goal what is the limit i mean what is the resources that i have the the most important resource is time and that you are having enough time you are having enough time you are having so focus on this and every day be consistent for 10 to 11 hours believe me one group you can clear believe me one group you can clear it may not be both the groups one group you can clear you know if you ask me personally my, my attitude my attitude if at all i am left with the 10 days if at all i am left with the 10 days how i question you know what can i do within this 10 days i don't i don't worry what can i do within this 10 days i think of this something i can do within this 10 days i will think about that alternative are how can i do within this 10 days no how can i do i will not question what i can do within this 10 days this i will question if you give me 5 days i will still have the same attitude what i can do within this 5 days can i try for an exemption if i study daily 14 hours 5 days only i will stretch my working hours 14 15 hours i'll study pick one subject 80 to 90 hours i will put only on that subject focus and get exemption i'll try for it i will not study 100% syllabus like everybody do i'm not that intelligent i'm not having that patience first of all i focus 70% of the syllabus 70% of the syllabus i focus around 70 to 80% of the syllabus you know you are having 120 marks portion i will straight away eliminate 40 marks syllabus i will try to attempt the paper for 75 to 80 marks and if i attempt the paper for 75 to 80 marks with very good perfect clarity i will score 60 plus easily i have seen many students who are who are attempting for 100 out of 100 marks and scoring 13 who says if you if you write for full 100 marks you will get full higher who says that you have seen your friends you know you have seen in your result no if at all you are a repeater you attempted for 90 95 or 100 you are ending you are in, you are ending up scoring 25 so it's not for how many marks you attempt it's with what perfection you are attempting that is important even if you attempt 70 marks of the paper only only 70 you wrote not 100 only 70 you attempted with 100 percent accuracy i am telling 65 plus is not big deal sir what's the proof for this how can i get 65 plus sir if i write for 70 what is the proof sir what are you talking very simple man you know i have seen many students who are scoring 90 plus in accounts and advanced accounts and costing and fm and even in fr and sfm there are many who are scoring 90 plus so for 100 they are scoring 90 plus for 70 can't you score 60 same logic so when they attempt for 100 and scoring 90 when why can't you score 60 by attempting for 70 as simple as such if you have answer for this i have answer for this you always you know stop thinking pessimistically sir if i write only for 100 marks i will get 50. no you are getting 50 marks not because you attempted for 100 because you attempted poorly if you attempted the answers excellently with 100 percent accuracy you are you are deserving 100 percent allocation of the marks so 
in order to get that accuracy in order to get that perfection what you have to do you have to be focused you have to be consistent don't try for new resources if some some of if if a, a friend of you has approach hey macha look at this this is very good this material looks really good and cool don't jump and read from that you're already reading one material no stick to that you must have this discipline what day before exam another another student another friend of you will come and show much more beautifully crafted material will you start reading from that you must have an opinion no first of all why are you getting influenced by others opinion you must have one concrete opinion you must have some concrete okay this book i'm selecting i feel this book is good comprehensive let me focus only on this book forever until the exam why are you deviating i've seen many students reading three to four different books they are changing book every one week every one month whenever they find something new something colorful something attractive they are just moving on to it remember those who are reading from icm material no you see how they present paper beautiful and those who are reading from short notes as colored notes as shortcut materials flowchart materials their presentation is very very poor if i read a full sentence if i read a full paragraph from icm book i can produce half the paragraph out of it if i read from a colored notes or shortcut notes half a sentence how much i will produce the more comprehensively you read the better you present in exam the better your terminology develops the better your grip develops it all depends on that so ignore all that every day every day try to focus for 10 hours to 12 hours your result is in your hand even today i'm telling you result is in your hand you can decide your result provided provided this next 35 40 days you be you are you have to be very focused you have to be attentive you know how you will split your day no need to wake up early in the morning no need to sacrifice your sleep no need to sacrifice any of your enjoyments in your life but whatever the time slots i am giving you stick to it definitely i'm telling you if you are focused and consistent within the time slots i'm giving you that's it done you will achieve what you are desiring of like morning 8 o'clock onwards you start to 10 o'clock getting it 2 hours take half an hour break break is very important half an hour break you have to take 2 hours continuously you studied with focus no take half an hour 10:32 12:15 Ten thirty-two, twelve fifteen. So one hour forty-five. Take fifteen minutes break. Then twelve thirty-two, one thirty, one hour again. Then take two hours break. Three thirty-two, five thirty. Okay. Um. So two hours. So here in between, what you will do? One thirty to three thirty. Have lunch. Take a small nap. Very important to regenerate the energy that you lost in the morning. you need to compulsorily sleep in the afternoon so that your energy levels will be high again in the afternoon next post lunch session now here one student no ask me sir if i sleep in this time no in exam hall also i will you will get sleep if you don't know anything if you know something in the question paper you will never sleep getting it next up. again take half an hour break 6 to 7:30 so again 1 and 1/2 hour 1 1.5 hour getting it 1.5 hour again take half an hour break 8 to 9:15 so 1.25 hour 1.25 hour and again take 45 minutes gap 10 to 11:30 so 1.5 hour let me see how much time it came 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 almost 11 hours it came ah beautiful enough 11:30 you go bed you go to the bed assuming that you are sleeping within the next half an hour to 45 minutes again you are you are waking up at 7:30 in the morning or 7:15 in the morning you are having 7 hours effective sleep in the night and in the afternoon you are about to have some half an hour to 45 minutes sleep and every slot you are having break enough breaks you can do literally every stuff that you are doing you can have instagram you can have social media you can watch on youtube some videos fun videos entertainment videos within the breaks if at all you think you do not have control then uninstall them but you must not uninstall you must know how to control yourself that's what i recommend when i am preparing in my final in 2014 15 i never switch off any of my phone i i don't even keep my phone in silent 
getting it i'll just keep my phone somewhere in the room and i'll come to another room and prepare that's it and in the break time i'll go back and see the phone and reply all this have conversation simple enjoy i enjoy and then do preparation in fact my preparation is very enjoyable i don't sacrifice anything i don't i don't want you to sacrifice everything and then focus on preparation you must balance everything you must balance people think they don't balance they can't balance actually it's wrong it's all about your priority what is your priority it decides so suppose if i have a phone in my hand right now i'm doing video you know i'm having phone i'm getting continuously call i'm getting continuously some messages or some you know you know notifications what is my priority right now doing video so that's why i'm not looking at it just that the light is blinking so i can observe it so if my priority is that i will stop the video and do that since my priority right now is doing video and motivating you enlightening you i'm not looking at it simple logic right now this video almost 20 minutes i worked on 20 minutes of this video you are watching right now almost it is 20th minute past 20th past 20 minutes i'm highly focused on what i'm talking what i'm telling you what i am scribbling it is what focus your priority decides your focus just because you uninstall the youtube or uninstall the instagram if at all you do not have priority in your studies obviously you will reinstall simple logic so balance everything balance everything have a strict study schedule like this see this is only a draft schedule suppose if you are very good if you are interested to wake up in the early morning modify the schedule according to your convenience i am giving assuming if at all i am in your place i don't wake up in the early morning i wake up in the 7 or 7 30 happily and then study start preparing from 8 o'clock if you are interested to wake up in the morning at 5 o'clock happy just modify planning 11 hours in a day productively is not a tough job i hope you got something okay so do well be focused be consistent for the next 35 40 days result is in your hand you can give the best for getting the positive result and the rest is in the hands of the entire you know every other factor we call it as god put your effort sincerely first before expecting something from the result before expecting something from the external factors put first you give what is required what it required stop questioning your ability stop thinking about your failure hmm? so do well Definitely, uh, this 35 40 days will be a game changer for you. And those of you who are planning both the groups in the coming May examinations, just to think of yourself have you completed 70% of the syllabus? If so, revise it. If at all you have not even completed 70% of the syllabus, what I recommend is it is now not worth it to risk both the groups. Take one group, give more priority to that group. I hope you, I hope this helped you. Think about your preparation, all that. Okay. Have a nice time. All the best.